we are so utterly unaware of the fact that soil is a total living organism. It's highly organized. Um, it has microscopic everything in it, microscopic uh, chlorophyll, you know, plants in it, microscopic insects, single-celled organisms in it. <clears throat> but one of the most valuable things in there is fungi. And fungi are not the mushrooms you see sticking up. Mushrooms are the equivalent of flowers. Mycelium is little thread-like single-celled strands that run through the soil and link everything together. And there is more and more consideration that that acts like a telegraph system and a pipeline between all of the plants in a forest. So that if you go, Somewhere down there, somebody goes, who hit that tree? <laughs> because it's been communicated all the way down there. Or in some instances, it's a case of something growing here and something growing there. And that fungi is actually moving nutrients back and forth between the two. And the fungi says, you know, you're a little short on iron. He's got iron, I'll bring you some. Mm -hmm. But he could use a touch of manganese, so how about if you let me take some, you know, and it's doing all this underground without our being aware of it. And there are multiple fungi, that some are very specific to certain plants, some are generalists, so it's a wide open conjecture as to, the, you know, the depth of all these interconnections that take place. But. Uh, some of the largest organisms, probably the largest organisms in the world are actually fungi because they can cover dozens upon dozens of square miles underneath the ground, threads smaller than sewing thread, connecting everything, but amounting to tons upon tons of material over all that area. And same sort of thing, you go this, and way over there somebody goes, ouch! 